We could use the planter. I don't know, do I have any fertilizer? No, I don't. But yeah, we could use the planter and farm some stuff, but it's gonna take a while for plants to grow. So yeah, goodbye to you. I'm gonna pick this stuff up. We're doing okay on healing stuff, so that's at least something. I don't think I'll actually, I'll take the metal can. Because I do believe we can make a makeshift suppressor. Out there. Whoa, you scared me. You scared me. Don't touch me. Please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, again, inventory management. I'm gonna head into here. Gonna craft a bunch of racks. I'm gonna make a bunch of dressings just like that. Gonna pick these up. Salvage. I'm actually going to drop that one cloth because that's just annoying to have right now. Alright. Okay, that was that. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot here. Um, but hey, at least it's a place we're not gonna die right now, so that's good. What do we have in here? Need to be a little bit careful. Would be nice with like a water tower and if we could find like a canteen. We can actually make our own water canteen. If there is like a well here. Since there's a farm, it might be a well. There might be a well. I'm not sure. Are you just gonna die? Ooh, arrow. We could stumble upon a bow here as well. That would be pretty. Ooh, chainsaw. That's going to make our lives a lot easier when it comes to chopping down wood. All right, a wheat seed. I'll take it. We do actually want to repair some of this stuff. Ooh, berries. Some, okay. So you will find or may find berries out in the wild. And some berries might be good. Some berries might be bad. Let's see what these are. <laughs> they can be either good or bad. And let's head into repair and actually repair the chainsaw. As you can see, that takes four metal scraps, so we're gonna repair that. And I'm also going to repair my kitchen knife, because it is my favorite weapon. And I want to repair it to scrap metal, not too bad at all. Alright, let's see. Uh, that is a... Raw russet berries. I have no idea if these are good or bad. Let's see. Oh dear, um, my mouse up and down is inverted right now and my immunity went down. So yeah, you are taking a risk with these berries. Um, raw movie berries. I'm not sure these are actually good and I want to be a little bit careful because again, my immunity, though we do have some cough syrup. So let's drink that. That's going to heal us up and increase our immunity a little bit. So now we can actually try out this, uh, more of a berry. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Oh dear. Uh, listen to the sounds. And again, my up, my up and down keys or up and down axes is inverted. But these are oh, and A and D is also inverted. Okay, that's okay. There we go. But I'm still gonna pick them up because. If you didn't notice, it did increase my immunity. So it fixed up my immunity a little bit. So that is good. <clears throat> hey, zombie, come over here. Okay, one of each of these. Here we go. Uh, raw teal berries. All right, I'm gonna munch on these. That increased my food and water quite a bit. My keys are not inverted or anything. The sounds, though, are going crazy. Uh, what do we have here? We have vermilion berries. Interesting. Oh, there we go. All right, gonna munch on these, see what they do. All right. Oh dear. Up and down has been inverted again. But yes, yeah, some. Oh dear. And DNA. Oh dear. I cannot play like this. <laughs> okay. Um. So as you can see, some berries are good, some berries might be eh. I'm gonna take these just because some of them actually has a good use, like increasing or helping me with my immunity. Oh dear, that was bad. That's that's three zombies on me. Oh dear. I might need that berry for fixing my immunity soon. Alright, smack you, smack you, smack you, smack all of ya. Ooh, fertilizer. That's good. That means 
fertilizer is like an instant growth thing. So if we planted down a crop and use the fertilizer on that crop, it would grow instantly. All right. So, oh, there's a well here. There is a well. So we could actually make our own water canteen. Question is, do we have what it takes? I want to find out. I'm going to equip my chainsaw and I'm going to run over here to this tree and chop it down. I'm going to pick up some sticks and actually hold on. Let me just chop down a few trees. Let me get organized and I'll show you what we're going to do. I guess I should show you how the chainsaw works. Um, so just walk up to a tree and again, left click. It is going to be quite loud. But it makes short work of the trees. I'm going to pick up the logs and the sticks here. Since I'm not going to be needing this Dealy Wheelie Automobile, I'm just going to scrap it. i uh, going to scrap one of these. I'm going to actually scrap the container as well, because eh. All right. What we will need to make. Uh, how much scrap metal do we have? All right, we have eight. What you want to make is two metal sheets right here. Two of those. And then search saw. Uh, that's the issue right there. The saw was not showing up because um, the metal plates just got dropped on the ground because I didn't have inventory space for it. I'm just going to drop some stuff temporarily. All right, go back into crafting, search saw, and it should appear right here. So two metal sheets equal one saw. And you want to have the saw because you can use that to make planks out of pine logs, which in this case, if we just search canteen or bottle, Right here. So we can make a birch bottle, maple bottle, and pine bottle. And it requires crafting three. So we want to go into our skills and we want to look for crafting. Where is it going to be? It's going to be right here. Think of more advanced blueprints. Cost 20. We're going to do that because we need crafting one. We now have crafting one. Go back into crafting right here. And as you can see, the skill area is now green. So it says, hey, you can actually make this now. You just need the planks. So we're going to make some planks real quick. Going to search plank. And you can, by the way, make planks using sticks, but use just getting a saw real quick. is going to be a lot faster. So there we go. We're going to make two times this. We can actually also make our own rifle, the pine rifle. I'm not going to do that because I don't, we don't really have any ammo for it. It does come with ammo, I believe. But we can't really, what can, what's it called, refill it because we don't have any civilian ammo. So for now, we're just going to actually make this pine bottle, which is right here. And we're going to craft that. Right now, it's empty. As you can see, water empty. But if we head on over to the well, and I do believe it is left click. Sorry, it's right click. All right, so that is the thing that apparently I remembered, remembered wrong. The water is dirty from wells. If we had a water tower, I'm pretty sure that would be clean. But because this is a well, it is apparently dirty, but we can still drink it. And I'm pretty sure we could repair it if we wanted to. It didn't give us that much and our immunity did go down. But uh, there you go. Also, the bottle does not have any durability. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. I'm just going to drop these planks and sticks because we don't need them right now. We can chop down more trees if we need to. But now we have a way of transporting water. Um, right now the water is, like I said, dirty, unfortunately. Um, we could repair it if we had uh, purification tablets or pur we could purify the water if we had purification tablets, but we do not. All right, so I'm just over here scouting and I can't see anything other than hills, trees and roads and bushes that get in the way. Yeah, I can't really see anything in this direction at all. There's a dirt road though that I guess might lead to something, maybe a camp or something. Yeah, I think I've actually got to follow that and see where that leads us because that could be pretty cool. Maybe it leads us to a military base or, like I said, a campground. A campground would be pretty cool. Also, I've got to go into my skills and I'm going to uh, use less them and move faster just so I can get around a little bit quicker. I'm looking mainly for a map so we can get an idea of where we can maybe go 
set a goal of walking to a place where we can potentially maybe set up a base or something. Of course, a quick skill that you should probably put some experience into uh, is survival, useless food and water. That's going to be a big play, so I'm just going to bump that up. So yeah, that's another good one to remember as well. I just remembered it. Should probably have mentioned it earlier, but you know, better late than never, right? All right, I am at the end of the dirt road. We have some benches here and then we have this. We have a table here as well. And I have no idea what this place is. It could just be like a camping area or a mining facility or something. It looks kind of weird. I do see this weird thing going into the mountains. So we might not be going in here if it gets very creepy and dark, but we will see. <laughs> hey, zombie. I wanted to see if you're wearing a normal one. All right. Yeah, that goes deep in. That's probably going to get pretty dark. Let's see what we got in here. 100% uh, corn. I mean, I'll eat that. Uh, not that. I'll eat this. Right now. There we go. All right. Um, I have a suspicion that this place is going to get pretty dark, pretty spooky, pretty quickly. <laughs> I don't know if we will go in there, but my shotgun does not have any shotgun rounds left in it. So I'm going to equip my flashlight instead. But let's head in just just to maybe get an idea of how it's going to look in here. Maybe it won't get dark. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. OK, so that's a police zombie. Well, we have some civilian ammo. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, actually. I'll pick up that. What do we have in here? Uh. Ooh, another blunt force, actually. Well, in that case, I'm just going to uh, de-equip it. Well, I'm going to drop that. I'm going to pick this up. I hear another one. I'm going to strip it. And I'm going to actually just... Actually, it is at 100%. So I think um, we just pick this one up. And we put on the old scope. And then we, yeah, just drop this one. Uh, or exchange them actually. Put on the scope here and just salvage this one. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy, old pal. We got us. Nope, I think that was the final one. Alright, so now we have two civilian boxes of ammunition. I'm going to go into crafting and into ammo. And I'm gonna combine these so we only have one box because no sense in walking around with two boxes uh, when you can combine them into one and save that inventory space. All right, I'm gonna equip this, reload it just in case we don't know what we're gonna uh, run into. This looks fine. All right, let's continue in again. I don't know if it's gonna get very creepy and dark in here, but let's continue on. Okay, we got some constructors. Already. I heard another one. All right. What do we have in here? What is this? Looks like some planting facility. I'll definitely take the fertilizer. I'm not going to bother with the seeds that much because we already have some plus vegetables. Uh, that looks creepy. All right, let's just take it slow and steady, one step at a time, one room by room. All right, I'm not sure if we will be heading into that cave area, because that seems like it's going to get dark. And I'm not prepared for that. I want guns and I want ammo for it and I want tactical light and stuff like that. So I'm not heading into a place that's going to get spooky dark. All right. Let's just clear this real quick. We do have some fertilizer. I'm going to grab one more, but I don't want too much to fill up my inventory space. All right. Uh, got some more rooms over here. Might as well clear these out. Uh, we've got a police baton. Nice. We also have a crowbar. Might as well pick these up and scrap them into scrap metal. Uh, 
as an example to makeshift stuff you makeshift stuff you can make is this makeshift scope um and i believe that got unlocked because we got uh, required crafting one i'm not too sure uh, but we're gonna scrap that because we don't need that by the way that is another thing rifle clip we can make our own rifle clips um i do believe though they only work for the uh makeshift rifle that we can make ourselves and there's a makeshift muffler i was talking about as well that can basically just make your weapon more silenced all right uh where's this gonna lead to a zombie hey buddy all right i'm gonna equip uh, did I get rid of my, oh, I got rid of my, <laughs> uh, got rid of my flashlight by accident, okay. I'm pretty sure. This isn't, oh yeah, it's getting dark. Nope, 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 not dealing with that. I'm out, I'm out. You know what? Yep, I'm out. Bye. Pick that up. I'm pretty sure that's mine actually from before. Uh, anything over here? Oh, well, hello there. All right, I grabbed the gun. Let's get out of here first. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, that that place that place be creepy. Let's see what we got here. What kind of gun is this? As uh, okay, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Uh, Swiss assault rifle chambered in military ammunition. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not use civilian uh, ammo, as it says. But we do have it. It has semi-fire safety, semi-safety. It does not have automatic, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool to have. All right, here is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode right here, and I'm going to do some off-camera work. I'm going to be wandering off-camera, trying to see if I can find a place of interest or a map, because if we can get a map, then we will be able to set a destination for us. And once we get over there, we will be able to start building a base so we can start learning stuff about that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode right here. So yeah, I'm going to end this one right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned. If you have any questions or feedback or anything like that, leave it down below in the comments. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. And at the time of this recording, actually, YouTube has been telling me that 85% of you are not actually subscribed. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And yeah, if you enjoy what you see here, what do you have to lose about it? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Join my Discord server. Link down below in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. All right. Where am I gonna go? Well, guess I'm just gonna go this way. Uh, see ya. Uh, oh dear. Ah. Okay, I can turn around quick. Hee hee hee. Wee. Oh man. Oh dear. Oh, you're still there. Hi. Oh man. It's running. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. See you next time. Goodbye.